بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از اکرا حفیظ اینڈ یو واچنگ دیسی ٹی وی یو ایس اے لیٹس ایو لوک ایٹ دا نیوز اینڈ ادر اسٹیٹمنٹ کیم فرام امیرکا آن پاکستانس پولیٹیکل ایشوز ٹیڈ لو اے ڈیموکریٹک ممبر آف دا امیرکن کانگریس ہیز سیٹ ان اے اسٹیٹمنٹ دیٹ دا پولیٹیکل ٹینشن ان پاکستان شوڈ ناٹ لیڈ ٹو پولیس بروٹیلٹی ابیوز ان ڈیٹینشن اور وائلنس ہی سیٹ دیٹ آل اسٹیک ہولڈرس شوڈ ریسپیکٹ دا پرنسپلس آف نان وائلنس اینڈ ڈیموکریٹک پرنسپلس اینڈ ورک ٹو کیدر فار اے پیسفل فیوچر آف دا پیپل آف پاکستان بفور دس ڈیموکریٹ ممبر ڈاکٹر آصف محمود ہیز آلسو سیٹ دیٹ پولیٹیکل ریونج از ایٹ اٹس پیک ان پاکستان عمران خان لائف از ان ڈینجر thousands of his workers have been arrested what has been seen so far is only there is a glimpse apart from this of the former u.s special representative for afghanistan zalmi khalilzad while issuing a statement on the political situation in pakistan said that pakistan is facing three crises these crises are political economic and security israeli prime minister benjamin netanyahu fired the defense minister according to the Foreign news agency Benjamin Netanyahu fired Defense Minister YAF Callan for demanding to stop judicial reforms. According to the media reports, after the dismissal of the Defense Minister, the protest against the judicial reforms gained momentum and the protesters became enraged. Citizens protested by blocking Tel Aviv's main highway and also staged a sit-in outside the Israeli Prime Minister's residence. On the other hand, the Consul General of Israel in New York also resigned and raised his voice in favor of the protesters. NATO and the European Union have described Russia's nuclear deal with Belarus as dangerous and provocative yesterday. Russian President Vladimir Putin announced an agreement to keep its nuclear weapons in Belarus, reacting to Russia's agreement to keep nuclear weapons on the territory of Belarus. EU Foreign Policy Chief Jos Borrell says that Belarus hosting Russian nuclear weapons is a threat to European security. He said that Belarus has the right not to host Russian nuclear weapons. The European Union is ready to impose more sanctions. Belarus hosting Russian nuclear weapons would be an irresponsible provocation. On the other hand, the NATO spokesperson says that we are closely monitoring the situation. We have not yet seen any changes in Russia's nuclear posture that we need to prepare for. The Taliban government demanded the United Nations to remove its member from the blacklist. Zabiullah Mujahid says that the inclusion of Taliban members in the United Nations blacklist is a violation of the Doha Agreement. Instead of putting pressure, the international community should talk to the Afghan caretaker government. Zabiullah Mujahid said that he has said many times and pressure that force will not yield any result. The 20-year Afghan war has proven that Afghans do not give up. Under pressure, he said that talks and compromises are the only way to improve. 20 to 25 of our members are on the UN blacklist. Some of the blacklist members have died. Some are still alive and some members are now working in the Afghan government. The Ministry of Religious Affairs announced a reduction in government Hajj expenses. Additional Secretary of Religious Affairs Dr. Atar Rahman told Private TV that there is an effort to provide relief to 45 to 50,000 rupees for the pilgrims. He said that they are trying to make the Hajj package cheaper by negotiating with the Saudi government. They are trying to bring the Hajj package for the northern region from Lemon Lake 75,000 to 11 lakh 30,000. He said that the Hajj package for the southern region should be brought from 11 lakh 65,000 to 11 lakh 20,000. After a four-day interbank holiday, the dollar is seeing an increase in value. Last week, the dollar closed at rupees 283.20 down 72 pesa on the last day of the business week. Today, after the four-day interbank holiday, the dollar appreciated against the rupee. At the start of the interbank business, the dollar has become more expensive by 30 pesa, after which one US dollar became 283.50 rupees. That's all for now. For more updates, keep watching Desi TV USA or visit our website desitvusa.com.